what is up guys we are on our full final day here in Osaka and we're gonna start off by getting some breakfast um, we pinned and saved one of these cafes we wanted to try out so we're gonna go check that out right now and um, it was like super short walk from the hotel about an eight minute walk which kind of worked out for us because we pinned this before we even got here <laughs> breakfast the first thing on the list was the Namba Yasaka shrine this is by far one of my favorite shrines that we've visited so far as for the lion's head it is known to swallow evil spirits and bad energy and also bring good luck so we just got out of the subway we um trained all the way out to Osaka castle just got here we're gonna walk to the castle now which I think is about like what a 15 minute walk or so yeah. definitely take the train the only con about it is it takes time. Like literally if you had a car, you'd get there in like 13 minutes. But since we didn't bring our car this time, um, we had a train which was like a 40 minute adventure, but it goes by quick, honestly. Pro tip, it's hot out here. Get you guys some cooling wipes. You can get these at the drugstores, at the Combinis, and they have them ready for you guys. This came in clutch when we went to Universal. So we definitely use the crap out of these. It definitely cools you down, freshens you up while you're out here all sticky and humid. Definitely go ahead and give these a try. And they smell good. We also have the Biore ones and those have like a nice fresh like flowery scent and um, they have other scents, but give these a try. These are worth it. They will cool you down in the hot summer, the hot humid summer. Making our way towards Osaka Castle, we stopped in this little visitor section area where we enjoyed some snow cones to cool down a bit more and Amaya saw this sketch pawn machine which she had to hit up and she's a pin collector so she had to pick up a pin for herself. She was super stoked about. Osaka Castle ended up being so pretty in person. The observation view was by far probably one of my favorites. I just love seeing the city from the observation deck. I do want to mention that there are some areas in the castle that you cannot film or take pictures of, so just be respectful of that, of course. After we checked the castle out, we started to gain an appetite, so we went back to Don Tonobori area, and the first thing on the list was to knock out some Osaka-style okonomiyaki. We ended up trying two different types of okonomiyaki here, and I can now say that we have tried Osaka style and Hiroshima style okonomiyaki. You can't ask me what my favorite is because literally both are so good. It's not for me to say you love. Seriously, how cute is Baby Mochi totally invested in Jesse's Okonomiyaki? And poor Kanan is exhausted, as you can see. So we didn't stop there as far as eating. We knew we wanted to get some ramen, so we did end up stopping and grabbing some ramen, some karage, and gyoza as well. And it hit the spot, not gonna lie. Yeah, we're at a snake cafe, okay? And you can hold them. Yes. <laughs> Listen. But we gotta order drinks first, and you're able to hold them if you want. So you it, hold this is what we, we came here for you. Yeah, but I'm not holding that big thing. <laughs> Here's some just some generals that they do have. We're allowed to hold them. They just you just have to ask a staff member uh, when touching a snake. Don't touch the cages. Don't take the snakes out of the cage. The staff member does that. You can take pictures, no flash. Um, cannot touch the baby snakes. They're for sale. And uh, do not place the snakes close to get together as they can start fighting. And then wash your hands before in between uh, snakes. And things you cannot do is walking around with a snake, drinking your drink while holding a snake, and eating your food while holding a snake. So 
I'm sure you've noticed, Caden is obsessed with animals, bugs, insects, all of the things, wildlife, he's so into. And so we knew for his little birthday celebration, we had to continue it on and take him here while we were in Osaka. You Got our drinks. Kaden got his scorpion that he's been wanting to try. <laughs> I think that's like what salt in there that you can spray on there. Sprinkle oh. some lemon. Mmm, mm, it's good. <laughs> oh, it tastes like a French fry. <laughs> <laughs> It is a toad. Whoa. I didn't even see that one. <laughs> Look at it once. This was actually Caden's first time holding a snake. Well, actually all of our first time holding a snake. We um, ended up all holding snakes and got to hang out with them. Um, the staff was super helpful. Yeah, there was a little bit of a language barrier, but with Google Translate, we were able to figure it out. We were able to communicate and ask them which snakes worked best with someone like Caden who has never really handled snakes and they were able to go into the cage and pick out which ones they thought were best. Um, we had such a good experience holding the snakes, didn't have any issues with them, they were so chill and the whole environment was just really nice and relaxing. We actually spent a little over two hours at the snake cafe just holding snakes and hanging out and just you know respecting reptiles it was pretty rad we definitely enjoyed the time there i do have to mention this is the perfect rainy day activity if you are in osaka and you catch the rain you're indoors you're gonna be there for a while so definitely keeps you dry for at least a couple hours or so and to top it off it is such a neat experience especially if you have kids or yourself that is interested in reptiles and all of that so highly recommend go checking them out and they are located in america morta if you are wondering after we left the snake cafe we ended up heading back to the hotel and just kind of got situated for the evening and also started packing to head back home the next day so i didn't get a chance to end the vlog but i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't already for more of our adventures